This is our crystal skull meditation for October, 2022. And we are sitting in a room size crystal grid with beautiful crystal skulls all around us and a giant grid at the center with lots of scullies and other crystals. And the purpose of tonight is to go deep into the heart of Mother Earth and work with the crystal skull energies to connect with our ancestors, to let go of what's no longer serving us, to shed our old skin like the snake, and to step into the energy of whatever new beginning is here for us. When we work with the crystal skulls, it's really powerful as a tool for our awakening because any crystal holds an energy of alignment. So any crystal that you're working with, you can just hold it in your hand, um, can help you to come back to your center because crystals are made of a crystalline structure, made of minerals of the earth, and also from the stars. So working with crystals help us to embody our spiritual nature and tap into our potential as human beings that are multidimensional, helping us to bridge the earthly and the cosmic helping us to feel supported and balanced in our everyday lives. So it's really beautiful to just work with crystals in general. The reason we're working with skulls is when you carve a crystal into the shape of something, an animal or a human personage, <laughs> it actually helps you to connect with the consciousness of the being that the crystal is carved into. So when we work with crystal skulls, we are connecting to the collective energy of humanity. And because it's in the form of a crystal, this allows us to meditate, to go inside the crystal and go into these histories or codes, keys, energies that are here to help us bridge, uh, like I said, the earthly and the cosmic. And Crystal skulls in particular, more than other crystals, actually have personalities, they have names, they have different energies they hold than just the gemstone itself. And there's some crystals that seem very happy, some that are kind of aloof and more observing, some that want to teach us things, others that just want to sit in the room and radiate light and balance to whatever the space is calling for at any given time. So working with the grid of crystals and the skulls tonight, our intention is to connect with our ancestry as a collective humanity, as well as any of our personal ancestors and guides to offer us some wisdom and some healing because we are in a pivotal time in the earth's history and in the awakening of the earth herself, shifting into frequencies of unconditional love and unity consciousness. And when we work with the crystal skulls, they help us to remember that unity consciousness and how we're all connected in the tapestry of life, how we may seem like individual little beings having our own experience, but when we come together with others, we get reflections, we get mirrors, we have opportunities for growth and evolution in ways that we wouldn't have if we were only interacting with ourselves. So there's a whole lot to this. And, you know, I could probably write a book just on working with crystal skulls and how it can be so helpful on the awakening journey. But for tonight, I just wanted to give a little framework for the basis of the meditation. And I thank you for being here. I'm so excited to go on this journey with you. And I hope if nothing else, it brings you some peace, some relaxation, some rejuvenation. And 
the ability to tap into those wisdom energies that are there for you every moment when you simply ask and be still and allow yourself to receive. Everything here is rooted in love. Everything here is to serve your best and highest good individually and collectively for the betterment of all beings. So there may be some people that feel uncomfortable around the concept of working with crystal skulls. They might perceive them as good or evil, right or wrong, black or white, these, these very contrasting energies. And the more I work with crystals, the more I meditate, the more I go along my spiritual path, the more I recognize that literally every experience, every situation, every color of the rainbow is part of this tapestry, part of the symphony of creation singing through us. So the more we can let go of our judgments, our shame, our preconceived ideas of how something should or shouldn't be, the more we open to the possibility, to the potential that we all have to create heaven on earth. And heaven on earth, that really means each person shining from their heart, stepping into that place of joy and bliss, delight, curiosity, wonder, just at the simple miracle of being alive. When we are in energy form, we don't know what it's like to have a hand or lips or eyes. We don't know what it feels like to feel the warmth of the sun on our face or to dip our feet in the ocean, to feel the softness of the sand. We can't even understand what that experience is. So as a soul, we decide to come and have this physical embodiment experience so that we can not only know what hot and cold, rough and smooth kinds of things are, but we can actually gather the wisdom of the experience. So I'm just so grateful that you're here and you're stepping into that place with wonder and welcoming the energies of creation that are here to support you. This is our Crystal Skull Light Code Activation, Healing with the Ancestors. Settling into the space, into this moment right here, right now. Letting go of any thoughts from yesterday or tomorrow. Just being in this now moment. Starting to become aware of your breath, the rise and fall of your chest, the expansion and contraction of your belly. Starting to feel the tingling in your fingers and your toes. Starting to breathe deeply in through the nose, out through the mouth, just breathing. Taking a deep breath in and exhale. Deep breath in and exhale. And one more deep breath, fill the belly. And letting go. Resting your hand over your heart for a moment as this helps you to connect to your center, calming the body, the mind, letting the nervous system know that you are safe, that all is well, and you are exactly where you're meant to be. 
Feel the warmth of your hand, the weight, the pressure against your heart. Perhaps even sense the heartbeat. In the back of your mind, repeating, I am here now. I am here now. I am here now. And now starting to drop down into the heart space, into the violet flame at the center. Imagine dropping down and in, down and in, down and in. Letting the violet flame rise up from your earth star four feet below you, anchored in Mother Earth. Imagining the purple light flowing up in a warm, tingly, loving energy up through the feet, the legs, the thighs, the pelvis. Everywhere the light touches, transmuting any heaviness or stuckness into love and light, helping to open the channels to restore flow, restore life force. Letting it rise up through the womb, the root, the sacral, up through the hips, the waist, the belly, up through the spine, spreading like angelic wings through the back, dissolving the heaviness, dissolving any cords, ties, bonds, attachments, energies, entities, thought forms, belief systems that are no longer serving you and restoring the energy to pure love consciousness. Infusing every cell, muscle and bone, every atom, every molecule, every bit of space in between with the violet light with the I am present, the spark of divine consciousness that is flowing through you, emanating from your heart in all directions, an energy of love, wisdom, power, protection, healing that is always with you. Letting that violet flame flow up through the chest, the lungs, amplifying even more in that heart space. So your heart center is glowing like a radiant sunlight. Letting it flow up through the shoulders, down through the arms, hands, fingertips. Activating dormant healing energies through the chakra systems, through the hands, through the breath, through the heartbeat. Asking the light to flow up through the throat chakra, opening that creative expression center so that every word you speak sing right is blessed with this highest alignment rooted in love and in service to love now and always letting the light rise up through the jaw the ears the nose the eyes the face Relaxing, letting go in this warm, tingly light. 
Letting the energy rise up through the third eye, the center of your spiritual sight. Asking the flame to fill your intuitive channels, your field of vision with wildfire, untamed, boundless love so that you can know deep within you that you are safe and you are meant to connect to your highest potential by connecting to your gifts of spirit. Bringing that light up through the top of the head, through the crown, asking that it balance the hemispheres of the brain, that it activate the pineal gland, letting that light rise up through your spiritual channel of connection, rising up four feet in the air to your soul star, your galactic gateway that place where you can connect with your higher self, with your angels, guides, guardians, ancestors, all the support energies that are here, that love you and are assisting you on your journey. Letting the fire rise up even higher now, beyond the galactic gateway up 300 feet in the air to a golden portal of light. This golden portal is the access point to the heart of the angelic, the heart of your highest self consciousness, the heart of creation. As the violet flame connects, opens and activates the golden portal, of source connection. You receive from the heart of the divine, a waterfall of golden light. This golden light holding all the frequencies, colors, sounds, energies that are here to support you on your journey. All that you need as you sit in this journey as you move and weave and create a new kind of world, blessed with higher perspective, blessed with open perception, blessed with discernment, with clarity, a clear, pure channel of divine love and divine consciousness guiding you letting the golden light flow back down with the violet fire, harmonizing, dancing together, coming back down through that soul star galactic gateway, coming back down through the crown, the third eye, the throat, down into that heart space, the golden waterfall infusing, activating your 12 strand spiritual DNA so that you can remember who you are, so that you can step into the experiencing of all that you're meant to be in this world, in this embodiment, stepping into full faith and trust that you are guided by the divine because you are a part of the divine. Let that light flow through you. The golden light and the violet flame amplifying from that heart, emanating in all directions, all through the physical body, emotional body, mental body, and spiritual body offering a blessing of unconditional love, consciousness, healing, and wisdom to every aspect of self, every part of your life force, offering a pathway to return home 
to the oneness, to the light of love that you are. The golden light flows down through the rest of the body with the violet fire, down through the belly, the sacral, the root, down through the legs, the feet, down into Mother Earth, connecting again in that Earth Star Chakra, four feet below you. And moving even deeper now, creating a pillar of connection down, down, down to the core of Mother Earth. And as you connect down to a giant crystal at the center of the planet, the violet flame and the golden light offered to our Earth Mother a blessing of gratitude, love, and sacred remembrance. Her heart opens to receive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with a wave of gratitude, she sends to you through this pillar a crystal and rainbow light. Allow yourself to receive now, dancing and spiraling, the rainbow light with the violet flame and the golden source consciousness. Let it rise up to your earth star. Let it form a beautiful lotus of multiple layers and petals and opening, helping you to feel completely supported and nourished by the Earth Mother. Feeling that lotus rise up through the body and all around your pillar, all around the bubble of light. This place where you are connected, above, below, and deep within, in perfect balance, perfect harmony. The elements of creation breathing through you, your body, the element of earth, your breath, the element of air your blood, the element of water, your heart fire, the element of spirit. Let the fire element work with you tonight to transmute the heaviness, the lead, into gold. Now, as you hold your awareness in the heart space, feeling completely cocooned and safe, fully supported, welcome your angels, guides, guardians, ancestors, and support teams even closer now. Welcome the energies of the Archangels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Metatron above, Archangel Sandofan below. And ask that the angels connect all around you and all around our sacred space and the triple blue diamond field, a filter of protection, healing, and divine light. Imagine a ring of seraphim, holy fire, all around the space. Imagine the sacred geometries of a star tetrahedron, a Merkaba pointing up and pointing down, forming in the bubble of light around you. This is your Merkaba light body vehicle. It is your auric field focused into the sacred geometries that are held in every aspect 
of creation. And as you infuse this Merkaba of light all around you, with the violet flame, the golden light, the rainbow light, the blue diamond light, and the seraphim fire, the Merkaba activates and begins to spin. The spinning goes so fast that it simply feels like a flow, a very slight rocking. It expands through you, all around you. And it is holding you in your own pure energy helping to bridge the earthly and the cosmic, the physical and the energetic, fueled by your sacred heart fire and your connection above and below. We now welcome into the sacred space the energy of our beautiful brothers and sisters, the energies of the crystal skull grid, energies of pure love and light that are here to work with us and assist us as we let go of what's no longer serving and rise again, rebirth, fully rejuvenated, centered, and held in the hands of divine love. Feel the vibration shift as the crystal skull grid opens to that fifth dimensional consciousness of unconditional love. Sense the molecules moving faster, the frequency waves flowing more gracefully, easily, lighter and lighter. You may even hear them say, we are here. Thank you for joining us. And now we're going to slowly drop our consciousness down, down through the pillar of light into the heart of Mother Earth once more. Our crystal skull guardians joining us as we drop our awareness down into the loving embrace of our Earth Mother. In an instant, we are transported to a beautiful crystalline cave. We see that giant crystal at the center of the earth, shining brighter than the sun. We feel the pulse, the heartbeat of the planet. We step closer to the center crystal all around us, the stones of the cave singing with rainbow light, the crystal skull energies joining in a unity consciousness field where every note, every drop of energy has its perfect place and connection. 
Allow yourself to move about the crystalline cave. Allow yourself to receive an infusion of healing light a golden white energy with hints of soft blue, teal, and pink. You may even notice certain crystal skull energies popping up in your awareness, saying hello, smiling, singing, welcoming you to this place of connection. The earth says that she is so happy we are here. Thank you for connecting. When you are ready, you are offered the opportunity to step in to the giant crystal at the center of the heart of the earth. It is so bright. It feels like pure joy. And you allow yourself to step into the energy now. As you do this, you are beginning to commune with the consciousness of the planet. In this place, channels of connection open up around you like roads or pathways of light. You are at the center of a giant wheel. And the wheel reaches out in the different pathways connecting to plants, to animals, to waterways, to stones. The pathways reach out to ancestors, to descendants. The pathways reach up, reach down, like the branches of a tree and the roots of a tree. And you are here at the center of it all. To allow yourself to feel the space of connection. Now, when you are ready, you feel drawn to a specific pathway. The crystal skulls line up on each side of the pathway. The walkway that leads you to the Hall of Wisdom. You start to move your consciousness along the golden path. You see a giant archway. You may see vines, roots, bark, green leaves, water flowing along the sides like many waterfalls. And as you watch, the doorway is filled with light as it opens to welcome you to the Hall of Wisdom and specifically to the teachings of the ancestors. We bow to the crystal skull guardians and to the energies of Mother Earth that are here as gatekeepers letting them know that we are here in service to love. And with this intention, we are welcomed through the gateway. We 
we step through the pool of light, the doorway of light, however it shows up for you. Into the hall of wisdom. As it opens up around you, it is a mix of the elements of nature and the architecture of man. You may notice books, shelves, pyramids, pillars, temples, whatever it is for you, let your vision be clear. Step into a clearing surrounded by trees, following the pathway to a lake of light. All along the lake are perfectly placed stones, and between the stones, beautiful vibrating pillars of crystal energy. The pillars create archways that connect pillars across the pond to each other. The stones act as additional gatekeepers, historians, places where the records are etched. The golden pathway leads you to one of the stones. You stand before it. It towers 20 feet high. The face of the stone is smooth. The edges rough. It glistens as if hit by sun and moon water, and earth all at the same time. This stone connects to the ancestry and the records of humanity. And it is also here for you to connect with whatever ancestry or personal wisdom you are meant to receive. Imagine placing the palm of your hands on the face of the stone. As you do this, a ring of crystal skull energy starts to spiral around the circle, around the lake. And the skulls act as key holders to help open the wisdom that is contained here for you. You may sense the shift in vibration, an electric buzz in the air. It feels loving and open and free. And you know that this is exactly where you're meant to be. Allow yourself now to turn your attention to the energy of the stone. Feel warm, tingly light flowing from the stone to your fingertips, to the palms of your hand. And ask to receive any wisdom from your ancestors or the collective ancestry that is here to serve you on your path. And just allow. You may see a face, a name, an energy. You may simply receive a feeling. Just let it flow for you as your ancestral stone 
offers you the blessing of insight. It's going to hold the space for you now to commune with the energy. If you wish to feel it even more, simply send an energy of gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the energy shall flow even more. Ancestral Wisdom Codes of the First Gate. Dear ones, thank you for being here. Thank you for elevating your consciousness to a place of remembrance. We are here to share with you the truth that humanity is a part of the earth. The earth, in this moment, we shall call Gaia Sophia It is important for humanity to remember that they are a part of the cells, the neurons, the energy systems of the earth herself. Mankind, womankind, humankind, is not meant to walk separate, seemingly independent of the earth herself. Mankind is a part of the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, as well as a part of the cosmic dance of the sun, the planets, the stars. We are at a time of awakening. Awakening of the earth herself, of the restoration of Gaia Sophia to her divine purpose her divine emanation as an energy wishing to return to the sacred spiral of love at the core of all beings. You are here to help remember that you are a part of this awakening. Each individual spark of consciousness that remembers they are one with each other and with the earth herself, with all forms of nature. Each individual contributes to the collective awakening. The ancestors recognized this, understood the connection to the stone people, to the animal spirits, to the plant teachers. The ancestors understood the importance of living in balance in synergy, symbiotically, 
with Gaia Sophia. Humanity and the Earth herself have been moving through a time of forgetting, a time of darkness, a seeming perception of separation from the source of light, the source of love that fuels all things. You are here to receive the ancient remembrance. And as this activation of light is brought forth in your consciousness, it will assist you in waking up to the connections of your spiritual nature and how to bring spiritual gifts, insight, consciousness into the physicality of the world, your daily lives, your connections with each other, with nature, with all that is. If you wish to receive this code of remembrance, simply feel thank you, thank you, thank you. And it shall be so as serves your best and highest good in each moment. Receiving the remembrance now that we are one, that we are individual sparks of creation, creating the full tapestry of life. Thank you. And now the golden pathway moves through the ancestral stone and it opens, creating a doorway where you can follow the pathway of golden light out into the lake. At the center of the lake, two giant pillars with another ring of crystal skulls floating, activated around the pillars. You follow the pathway now out into the lake. You can imagine walking upon the water as it is pure light, you can imagine wading out as if it is liquid gold. Go to the center of the lake. When you reach the two pillars, You feel compelled to reach down into the lake of light and scoop up a pool of the light and rinse it over the head, over the face. Let it flow through the body. This energy assisting 
with further clearing of residual energies, old programs, false realities, and karmic cycles that are now complete. Let this water, this light, wash away the heaviness, the fear, the worry, the shame, whatever it is that you may be carrying that is now ready to be released. Move a little closer to the pillars until you are between them. As you find the center point, you notice you are standing on a platform of beautiful white coral. The energy of the ocean flowing through you around you, energizing the pillars, helping you to know that this is a place of emotional clearing, emotional balancing, a connection to the feminine intuition. As you observe the energies around you, you start to notice figures of your ancestors joining you in the lake. You notice the crystal skulls forming a tree of light above the pillars, below the pillars, into the lake. The pillars themselves become part of the tree and you are at the center. The crystal skulls start weaving through the branches of the tree, spiraling around the trunk, down through the root. Helping to unlock past, present, and future timeline, experiences, lives, helping you to gather from the space wisdom that your ancestors wish to bestow. You may even start to hear the beating of a drum, many drum. Songs of the ancestors as they sing to Mother Earth, as they give voice to her sacredness, as they offer gratitude and reverence the life that she brings. In this space, a surge of energy, a flash of light, similar to the energy that occurs at the birth of a child. And then then another wave of a blast of light that occurs when a being in form lets go of the physical vessel and returns to the realms of spirit. Another flash of light a rebirth, a return to the wholeness of the soul 
after a seeming lifetime of separation. The ancestors are singing, are playing their drum. And you can feel the waves, the cyclical nature. Life, death, rebirth. Life, death, rebirth. Life, death, rebirth. Allow any flashes of experiences or situation. Allow any moment of wisdom. Let them flow to you now. Moments of birth, moments of death, moments of rebirth. Let them flow through the tree, holding a space for your ancestors to be released from their old cycles, holding a space for their wisdom to be focused and harnessed, holding that space open for the legacy of love to flow free. The energy of rebirth. You may now receive any specific energies from your ancestors they may wish to offer you. knowing that all serves your best and highest good. And that as we do this work, it is not only a healing space for you, but also for them. Let the song of creation flow through you. Let the knowing be instilled that where life flows, the cycles continue. That every death is simply a new beginning, a space of transformation, a place of infinite, possibility for the next form has not been birthed yet. This is a sacred wisdom teaching. Knowing that wherever you are on your path, even when you are in a place that feels unknown, there is always the cycle guiding you. Every moment that you experience will change. And with the spinning of the wheel, Free will dances with the energies of fate. Receiving the wisdom code of the cyclical nature of the life, death, rebirth. of the knowing that you are an immortal being, a consciousness of love. Receiving that activation now.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. We bow to the ancestors and the beautiful tree of light, to the crystal skull energies that have assisted with helping us to connect, helping us to gather wisdom and these sacred teachings. As we receive, so too does Mother Earth. And balance is restored. And now you follow the golden pathway to the opposite edge of the lake of light. You move through the water, feeling so light, feeling more energized, more balanced, strong than before. And you come up to the face of another stone, an ancestral guardian stone. It reaches up 20 feet in the air above you. Inscribed with light language, angelic symbol, sacred geometries and pictographs of the element of the earth. The stone is humming and it shifts color like iridescent peacock feathers, depending which angle you view it. As you come up to the stone, it begins to shift, to turn, to become a platform. The stone turns horizontal. The crystal skull energies flow all around it. And you step up onto the surface of the stone. The stone begins to elevate, to rise up, rise up, rise. until you can now look down and see the pillars of light and the other ancestral stones and the lake. You can see the wheel and the pathway from the center heart crystal of Mother Earth. You are looking down into this pristine landscape. As you watch, you start to see more and more mountains, oceans, rolling hills, lush forests, trees filled with fruit, roses blossoming, birds, bees, hummingbirds, all kinds of animals and energies joining creating a kind of valley below you. And as you watch, you start to envision children and parents, friends and lovers coming out of the trees and joining hands. You start to see the fairies, the elves, the gnomes, the unicorns, the dragons, the dolphins, the whale, all kinds of beings, vibrant and alive. 
you see at the center of their chest a beautiful golden heart glowing, emanating through the air to each other, to all the elements of nature. You can feel the earth and the air vibrating with the song of life. You feel a wave of joy, of ecstasy and bliss. That all of these energies are here, honoring one another, communicating through their hearts, working together, loving the earth, loving each other, loving this experience of being alive. You watch as seeds are planted and simply with a thought, a burst of light from the palm of a hand, the seed starts to sprout and grow. You watch as the heart energies of the humans join with the heart energies of the dolphins and the whale and waves of light go out and cleanse the oceans, cleanse the rivers, the lakes, the streams, the waterfalls. You watch as the roots of the trees flow down into the mycelium within the soil. And they're all singing together, communicating the best places for light, for shade, for food, for nourishment, for connection. And all of the knowledge is passed effortlessly through every being, every life force. And you watch as music is created, as books are written, as movement of body is a joyful dance. And you watch as the humans become keepers of the earth, remembering the sacredness of life. You watch as the heaviness melts away. And everything is bathed in a kind of golden radiance. The colors are more vibrant, the air more clean, the water more sweet. And in this vision, you have a remembrance of the original code, the template of heaven on earth. What it once was, what it can be, when every heart is working together with a common goal. When every mind is open to the magic of life. And you watch the vision unfold and you hold the vision in your mind and in your heart. You can feel it flowing through every cell. And as you help this energy to grow simply by witnessing it, it starts to flow out, up into the sky, up and out through the atmosphere, beyond the earth herself, encapsulating the entire globe. 
in this envisioning of heaven on earth, this place of love and heart connection, and the waves of love ripple out through the solar system, touching every other planet, flowing through the sun, emanating beyond the solar system through the galaxy, then expanding with every heart that joins the song, the vision, expanding in light, expanding in possibility through neighboring galaxies and beyond until this song of life reverberates through the universe. And you know that it is not only a possibility, it is already here. The moment it is thought of, dreamt up, it is created. And as you hold this vision, it infuses the crystal skull energies. It infuses the consciousness of humanity and it flows to every heart and mind, willing, ready, and able to receive it. This is the place of becoming. This is the place of our potential. where we can communicate with our heart. Where we can dance and live and breathe. And it is light. It is effortless. As we honor the energies of our Earth Mother, as we bask in the energies of the sun, the masculine principle of inspired action. We feel the wholeness. We are complete. Allow yourself to receive the vision, to activate it in the core of your heart. And allow the vision to open up for you an illumined path. Your individual mission, expression of this purpose, opening, unfurling, within your consciousness now. Allowing yourself to receive not only the vision of heaven on earth, but the very embodiment of it through your entire being in whatever way is right for you. Feel a wave of gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it shall be so. It is so. Stepping into that activation of the heart of hearts. Stepping into the expression of your ideal experience 
of heaven on earth. Let this energy bring you to the perfect alignment with your highest timeline, your highest possibility. And know that simply by focusing your intention, it is so. Receive and hold these energies and let them flow with a spiritual betterment of all beings. For there is no other time than now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You start to feel that ancestral stone gently being lowered back down to the ground at the edge of the lake of light. You gently step down onto the grass. The crystal skull energies spiral around you in a whirlwind of gold and white light. Thanking you again for being here and for joining this beautiful experience of remembrance and manifestation. When you are ready, you slowly begin to follow the golden pathway back, back through the lake, back through the ancestral stone where the first activation flowed through, back down to the center core crystal at the heart of Gaia Sophia. You feel your angels drawing closer now, sweeping through the energy field, helping to seal in all that you've received with the highest intentions of love, wisdom, and remembrance. You bow to Mother Earth and to all of these beautiful energies that have worked with you tonight, thanking them for their support. You thank your ancestors, the tree of light, the lake for washing away the heaviness. When you are ready, you gently draw the awareness back up your golden pillar of connection, wrapped in the violet light, the rainbow light, the lotus energy. Back up through your earth star, back up into the body back up into the violet flame of your heart. Your Merkaba of light slows and returns to its standby position 
infusing your entire auric field and energy system with all that you've received. Here to support you as you step into more conscious awareness as a divine consciousness in human form. The crystal skull energies bow and thank you. And the grid starts to dissipate. The angels assist with closing all gateways, connections, openings, portals, returning you to your sovereignty on every level as required for a human experience. You feel your connection above, below, and deep within in perfect balance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And know that your angels and guides will stay with you to assist with integrating all you've received in perfect timing as serves your best and highest good in each moment. The violet flame gives one more giant pulse of light, helping to fully anchor that fifth dimensional unconditional love frequency in every part of your being. The wave tells your body, I love you. The wave tells your mind, your feeling, I love you. The wave tells your spirit, I am love. And somehow you just know it is true. Thanking all of the angels, bowing to them. So much gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As above, so below, so be it, and so it is. Our transmission is now complete. You slowly draw your awareness back to the body, to the room where you rest. You feel the tingling of your life force flowing through you from head to toe. You start to sense the heaviness of the body as the light codes gently begin to integrate with the muscles and the bones. You start to breathe deeply. Becoming aware of the breath. Slowly wiggling the fingers and the toes. Taking your time, there is no rush. Making small circles with the wrists and the ankles. Little stretches. Whatever you need to do to slowly come back. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Come back into the room. Take your time.
Be sure to drink lots of water. Perhaps get a piece of chocolate to help you to ground. And just allow these energies to be with you. Thank you.